Now, a Senate candidate in Nigeria has been killed by a gunman ahead of Saturday's election. Bar Oibio Chuku was attacked on Wednesday in the southeastern Enengu state. He was returning from a campaign rally for his opposition Labour Party. Our correspondent Haru Matassa is in Eningu and joins us now. Uh, good to have you with us, Haru. I mean, it does seem that security is very much in the spotlight just days before this national election. This is the area where the man running for senator was attacked on Wednesday night. He was driving along this road in a convoy. And then when he got to the spot, you see that wall there with the, the black soot. That's where some armed men opened fire. They killed him and some of his party supporters then set fire to the car. The car has since been removed by security forces. And if you look up along this road, it's a place where it's mainly shops. But a lot of the shops are still closed. That's because people say they are nervous. They're not sure what is going to happen next. And they're just taking precautions. And when you ask people about the mood here ahead of the elections, they'll tell you that things are tense and some of them are nervous. They'll say, try not to leave the city centre. Try not to drive out of town on the roads because you could get kidnapped or you could be attacked. They've been lingering tensions in the southeast for decades now. Some people here feel that they've been marginalized by the federal government in the capital of Abuja. They say this area has not been as developed as much as other parts of the country. And that's why some of them are agitating and taking up arms and calling for separating from Nigeria one day if that is the case. Uh, a lot of the elders here say it's about frustration. Young people feel that they're not, their needs aren't being met, they're unemployed, they feel marginalized, and that's why they're taking up arms. Israel on Konkomba fought in Nigeria's civil war known as the Biafra War. Between 1967 and 1970, that attempt at secession in the southeast, home to the Igbo homeland ethnic group, killed more than one million people. The retired lieutenant colonel is worried about a new generation of fighters who say not enough people from this region have influence over Nigeria's politics, security and economy. I'm suggesting that the federal government should think deeply and see how they can bring us into the equation to assuage the feelings and the anger of the people, the boys who are worrying and agitating badly. Nigeria Southeast has seen an increase in pre-election violence, kidnappings and continued agitation from some to split from the rest of the country. Dozens of people have been killed this year. A lot of youth are being suppressed. A lot of people are being oppressed. A lot of people are being you know, caged in a bottle. And it becomes difficult for them to stay like that. Liberty and freedom, these are natural instincts in man. People want to liberate themselves. People want to be free. Presidential and parliamentary elections are on Saturday. Some polling stations will not be used because of insecurity. Security forces say they will guarantee law and order. I do, not, I do not need to tell you how we will do it. But all I'm telling you is that we will do it and everyone will have the liberty to exercise their franchise. Insecurity is not the only issue for voters. Rising unemployment and the economy are major concerns. This market is usually busy at this time of the day. A lot more people would be here looking for good deals and bargains, but it's quiet because of shortages of cash. Banks often run out, and that's affecting everyday life in Nigeria. President Muhammadu Buhari is serving his second and last term. Many Nigerians hope whoever takes over from him will quickly turn around the economy and resolve lingering conflicts. Harumatasa Al Jazeera, Inugu, Nigeria.